Igby is the only sustainability assurance pl uh, platform in the world. Um, and that gives us an enormous advantage to be able to talk to some of these uh, tier one capital, the new, uh, the new providers of finance, uh, which are going to look into not just the critical minerals, but also the wider field, uh, into the gold section as well, and provide this new capital to go forward. Welcome to the Assay TV. We are here at One to One Mining Investment Cape Town, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Jamie Strauss, founder of Digby. I'm Jamie Strauss. I'm the founder and CEO of Digby, which is a uh, sustainability platform for the mining industry, uh, ensuring and encouraging uh, uh, responsible investment for the mining industry. Uh, I've just spent the last two days here at uh, One to One, and with a really great program, uh, fascinating. Uh, meetings both with uh, capital as well as uh, mining companies. Uh, the enthusiasm I think is showing here uh, and I'm very grateful for, for, for all the help that has been given by the one-to-one -one team to not only ensure that our program is good but to try and bring this industry together over the, over the course of the next 12 months or so. So maybe we could start by getting your thoughts on, on the current state of mining industry and, and investment planning into the space. Well I think we're at a pivotal moment. Uh, I think there's been a horizon that's been pushed out and pushed out a long time. I think, um, I think, I think if it's to be dictated by the flow of capital, uh, then we're beginning to see some interesting uh, uh, tea leaves. Uh, we're seeing some significant new funds uh, being put together. Some of them are launching in the course of the next month, month or so. Um, I think what the interesting thing is, is that they've all got sustainability at the heart of it. Some of them are Article 8, which are European based funds where they have to do it. Others, which are perhaps private equity or otherwise based, have for a long time had sustainability as part of it. And I think that's really where the, perhaps the shift is taking place in this industry from you know, decades of uh, it not being front and center of disclosure. Perhaps it has been as part of operations, but not of disclosure. And I think uh, the industry is kind of getting on top of this as, a, as an opportunity to differentiate itself and differentiate the companies within it. And I think that's exciting. I think uh, that hopefully will bring in new talent. I was excited to see an article last week uh, that young people were attending the Vancouver show. Um, that's certainly a, a first. So uh, there's a number of different things showing uh, tea leaves that perhaps we're changing. Uh, more proof needs to be in the pudding. Uh, but I'm excited that, uh, to look forward for the next year, two years. Yeah, absolutely. So, so in, in in this kind of you know this tide change, what, what, what role does Digby play, and how is how is it kind of supporting the progress that's happening? Yeah, so Digby was uh, on this whole sustainability theme was set up uh, or inspired about in 2020, and it obviously it took a year or so to uh, uh, design and to develop this and ultimately launch it. Uh, we've now done over 30 different. Uh, uh, 50 different assessments on over 30 different companies on a global basis, uh, really adding value to the mining management teams, their boards and the wider stakeholders. Um, how do we play going forward on this? I mean, Digby is the only sustainability assurance pl uh, platform in the world. Um, and that gives us an enormous advantage to be able to talk to some of these uh, tier one capital, the new, uh, the new providers of finance, uh, which you're going to look into not just the critical minerals, but also the wider field uh, into the gold section as well and provide this new capital to go forward, uh, but to make sure that we do so responsibly, which I think the whole industry uh, can uh, embrace. And so I think, look, the next 12 months is still going to be rocky. Um, but having gone around your conference today uh, and yesterday, you know, it's a packed schedule. Um, everybody wants to know how they can begin to get on top of this, uh, how it can help internally, uh, but also how they can begin to communicate with their different stakeholders, local communities, governments, and working with a number of different governments to try and incorporate sustainability into and transparency and sustainability through that, which will therefore ultimately drive uh, the permitting decisions and, and hopefully also financing. So. It's, it's a big project, this. Uh, this has to be done through collaboration. We're going to bring out quite a lot of news over the course of the next few months on uh, further collaboration. Um, and it's just, it should ultimately, given this trend, should build and build and build. Excellent. Well, thanks so much, Amy. It's, it's great to hear from you. And, and yeah, we look forward to hearing your news over the next, over the next year. Thanks very much, Alice.